The timeline that we're currently working with is a 1920 by 1080 timeline. I'm going to be importing a clip that is 3840 by 2160. I'm simply going to take it and drag it and drop it down into my timeline. Now with a clip that's larger than the current raster size of the timeline, what I would expect is when I take this clip and drag it into the timeline, that that clip is actually larger than the frame size. However, you'll notice that if I switch to my edit module and I take that clip and I drag it and drop it into the timeline, you'll see that what Resolve has done is taken that clip and shrunk it down so the four walls of my clip match the edges of the raster dimension of this timeline. So how do we get in and get this clip to behave like it is actually larger than 1920 by 1080? Well, let me show you. I'm going to head back to the media pool and we're going to delete this clip. Let's remove it and it's going to go offline in my timeline, which is perfectly fine. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to navigate up to file and I'm going to come down to my project settings and inside of the image scaling section, I'm going to change mismatch resolution files from scale entire image to fit to center crop with no resizing. Once I now say save and I bring this clip back down into my project, Resolve will automatically relink it. However, if you take a look now, this clip looks very different than it did before because it's actually, if we zoom back on the clip here and we come down to our transform, you'll see the raster dimension of the clip is now larger than the raster dimension of the timeline that we are currently working on. So we can now get in and manipulate this larger than HD clip however we want it inside of this timeline's frame size.